Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Hey guys, welcome to another video and this is sort of a urgent urgent sort of a video because uh, last week because of the Dragon Festival in China, you know there was no beta update released 9.6.6 was suspended a lot of updates for a few other devices were suspended now yes of course you're looking at the pocophone f1 right now but i will also share some insight about this update for the rolex which is redmi 4a and reva which is redmi 5a but the major focus will be on poco f1 in this particular update and the reason we are starting this video with twrp in front of us is because i will show you first how to install it and then we will go ahead and flash it at the same time the links for the rom as well as the disable force encryption zip will be mentioned in the description so that your device doesn't get encrypted you don't lose your data and everything should be fine now before we begin flashing this particular rom let me tell you one this is not a global or a open beta this is a closed beta this is a nightly update it may have more bugs than the usual beta updates this is still miui 10 this is not the first miui 11 update so ignore that if if somebody tells you that this is miui 11 update that is not the case now apart from this you need to make sure you have an unlocked bootloader and you have installed twrp you need to have at least 50 percent battery you need to copy both the files in your phone's internal memory and make sure that all your data is backed up now once all of that is taken care of you just need to go to wipe advanced wipe dalvik cache system data swipe to confirm flash now once that is done you just need to go to install select 9.6.10 update add more zips, disable force encryption, swipe to confirm flash. Now that's all that you need to do. This flashing procedure will take at least two to five minutes. So please be very, very patient while that happens. And once that happens, we just need to reboot into system and have a look at the features and options of this particular update. All right, so as you can see over here, the update has been flashed. We will just reboot system. The first boot on this nightly beta will take anywhere between 5 to 7 minutes because MIUI is still a heavy heavy skin and it does take time to boot up. Alright, so after skipping the setup, we are on the home screen of MIUI 10. Of course, everything looks very very similar. But first things first, let's quickly go ahead and look at the version of each and every system app maybe. So the launcher is updated, it is 2.6.7.9. So I cannot say if there is any major major change in smoothness and stuff because uh, I have just installed it but if we go to about phone this is MIUI 10 global beta or closed beta 9.6.10 of course uh, the security patch surprisingly over here is the 1st of May 2019. Now I believe in one of the previous closed betas we did have a June security patch and this has gone back to May. So I don't really know what is happening with Xiaomi with these particular security patches but nonetheless if we have a look at the Android version it is still Android 9 not any major change over there. So if we go to explore new features you have a new feature over here called quick replies. Now you can use quick replies in the notifications of the selected messengers that is WhatsApp, WeChat, QQ and a lot of other apps. Now this is basically an extension or a similar feature to what Google had implemented as an experiment a few months back and I had tried it as well. It was known as reply or quick reply or something like that. So Xiaomi have integrated that into their system. Now along with this uh, another update is blur recents window. Now that option should ideally be available in home screen and recents. So when you go to home screen, that option should have been available somewhere over here. That is indeed available to the Redmi 4A, that is Rolex and the Redmi 5A Riva. But unfortunately, that option is not to be seen on the Pocophone F1. Now, if we go to the home screen and if we go to security, we can definitely have a look at the gaming turbo mode to see if there are any major, major changes so i don't really see any changes so let's let's go ahead and create a home screen shortcut over here and okay they still have a blue icon and let's make this horizontal 
yes so the animation is still there all the other features are similar say even if we go to gallery over here hit allow got it we do have the similar month view which is available no major changes over here we don't really have a sky option the this particular beta so more or less uh, this is an incremental update to the previous closed beta or global beta whatever you want to call it one thing that i didn't like is they have taken the security patch back to may and a couple of other things that i've been hating about xiaomi in each and every video is if you go to display we still don't have dark mode let me tell you that uh, i do have a note 7 pro in the house that has got a stable update of 10.3.7 that has dark mode and the new charging animation in stable update we just get it in beta yes the new charging animation is still there apart from that if we go and enable ambient display although this is a lcd panel at least in beta or closed betas they can give it as an experimental feature so that we can go ahead and play with it so more or less this is a great update we will run antutu and a gaming benchmark maybe tomorrow or day after and make a gaming review give this video a like if you want me to make a gaming review and a heating test on this particular update at the same time i would request you to help me with the goal for this particular video which is 500 likes so remember you watched it first on smartphone tutorials we make videos about poco phone and all the other smartphones as well give this video a like so until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye